Good morning. It's actually Friday. <laughs> I got up early this morning because I fell asleep at like 10.30. So I got eight hours of sleep and thought, I'll just do some editing because I need to get a head start because next week's vlog is probably going to be three parts because it's so long. Well, it's actually this week, but you'll be seeing it next week. Um, problem was, I guess I wasn't awake enough and as I was transferring files from my SD card to my computer, I wasn't thinking and didn't wait for it to finish transferring and I deleted them on accident. So I'm not really sure what I've lost yet and I probably won't know until later, but at least you'll get, or you would have gotten at this point, you will get um, the universal trip, mostly in full, I hope. Um, so that's why it's gonna be so long because the universal trip was pretty long. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of editing and do my makeup um, and then Marshall and I, well Marshall's going to take me to work. He's going to work on production since this is day off. And then I get off early today, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Yep. So further adventures in Friday morning. Um, I wasn't able to edit as much as I wanted, but I'm about to leave for work in a little bit. I'm using this Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. It's okay. I remember I used another one and I wasn't like really impressed by it, but this one I'm still not impressed by it. I mean, it's very pretty, but I just, I don't know. It's just something about the colors being a little bit muddy. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this. I might pass this along to somebody. And my lips I'm using, the Dose of Colors of Gloss and just my type. And these have started to become like my very favorite lip products up there with uh, the Bare Minerals ones. Um, the one thing I did want to talk about, since my hair is wet, um, I want to talk about this um, shampoo and conditioner. I've been using it for a couple months now, and it is customized to me called Formulate. You guys have heard me talk about this, and I'm going to leave the information below so that you can check this out yourself. Um, but basically, this is the conditioner, and look how huge these bottles are. Mm -hmm. And this is the shampoo, and they do have pumps, which I really love. Um, basically... It took a little bit, I would say the reason why it took me so long to do this review was it took a couple weeks for my hair to really become acclimated to what it was doing. It felt like at, at first it was a little like a film over it, um, but that went away. And now I have very fine hair and it used to go limp all the time. Now basically my hair has a lot more volume. It looks... Like it has more life and this is amazing and I still like I've been using it for like two months and I'm still like probably only to hear that I can hear I think um like I said it is pricey like it I think it's like $30 a bottle but if it lasts you like four months and it does that to your hair it's probably worth it because like what are you gonna spend every month on shampoo you're probably gonna spend like 10 bucks mm -hmm. so it's you're just getting it more, <laughs> more in one place. Um, I just got an auto ship too. I'm not exactly sure what they're sending me since I haven't had this for four months yet. So I don't know what they're sending me, but they're sending me something else. Um, but definitely, I know, I know you guys are like really skeptical about spending that much money on your hair, but believe me, it is totally worth it to get something customized. They give you a little quiz that is very thorough on what you want your hair to do, what your weather is like, all of that jazz. You really need to check it out. I will leave the information. Good morning, Marshall. Good morning. What are you doing? I am sitting in triumph. I completed all of the artwork last night, and I'm feeling very good about myself. I finished it at like 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what do we learn from that? Don't do Nano Remo <laughs> in November. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, I mean, I probably could have gotten this done late November if I, if it wasn't for that. Nano Remo is just in an awkward spot in the year, but uh, you know, in any event, I got some good artwork. I really did mm. like some of this bright light. This turned out to be good. <laughs> yeah. Um... The upcoming scents we're doing now that we're working on is uh, the mystery scent in the advent calendar, uh, which is, uh, 
I'm not going to say anything because I don't, I think some people still haven't opened their advent calendar yet. They're waiting for like the 24th. But the mystery sent, uh, we do have a winner to help us decide what kind of art we're going to do. So we're going to start working with her so that we can get an art for that scent, which is super exciting. And then we're going to start in on the February and March designs, which I'm actually kind of excited about February and March. We got some some good themes, some an interesting theme for March, which you probably won't really like get right away but then you'll be like oh yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how they fit together uh and yeah that's i i'm actually kind of liking how some of our next set of sense sets are coming together because they they all have the obvious level of of theme but then there's like under layers that mm -hmm. all kind of come together um so they're kind of cool yeah. We need to, like, watch Mary Poppins and stuff because the movie's coming out and we haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't know when we're watching it, though, because our schedules are so wacky. We can't do it Sunday or Monday or Tuesday. Happy days. <laughs> we might just... Maybe we'll just watch it Saturday night and... Yeah, because I'm working morning Saturday. So, yeah, we could do it then. Yeah, but Corey's working 5 to 10, and you're working, like, 9 to 5. So, <laughs> we'll just watch without him. <laughs> or I'll watch it twice that day and just do something else. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, so, yeah, that's today. We might have other things happening today. We don't know. Like, we don't know how today is doing shaping up. We're going to go to a new coffee shop to maybe get some coffee, like... Coffee to brew, not coffee to drink, but yeah. although we eventually be drinking it. Yeah. I mean, eventually we might get some coffee to bathe in. I don't know. as Whatever. It could be good for your what, what, skin, what, yes. Whatever you think you need All right. to do. I mean, I, I think some people do bathe in it. Some some other people just dip their hair in it for a good long time. Just sit there like that. It's like, oh, mm -hmm. that's it. But I drink it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to work. I wanted to update you a little bit. Um, I got to leave work early. Wink, wink. Um, kind of. We were able to go around noon. I ended up not leaving until a little after one because Corey had to be dropped off for work and I got picked up, so we did a little swap. Marshall and I went to this new coffee shop, new to us coffee shop, called Holy Grain to get some coffee uh to try their coffee and marshall actually got a little iced coffee and he said it's really good we came home and i wanted to pre-edit as much of this week's vlog as i could so that i don't have to do it this weekend or during christmas so i'm glad i got that much ahead of time um so i can just add the other videos as we go and it won't take as long um Right now, Marshall has finished producing everything we need to get out for PR for January, and he's just, you can hear him, he's cutting all the stickers for the labels. So we are going to label that up and tape it up, but here's why I say I'm off work, wink, wink. I'm not actually off work, because even though we were allowed to go, I had a project that was still needing to be done by IT, and... Um, I'm still waiting for them to do it. So I'm literally doing a bunch of other stuff and sitting here and waiting for them to do it. So what's happening tonight, I'm actually kind of a little excited about it. It's our first time doing this. Marshall and I both ordered what was on the treasure truck today. We've never done that, Amazon treasure truck. Um, so around five-ish, we're going to go over to uh, this shopping center that's like on the other side of Universal and get this product. But we're not going to show you what it is until we come back because we're going to do mail and that at the same time. Once that's done, hopefully all we have to do is wrap everything up for PR and get it to a place where I can print the postage. And I will be in such a good place this weekend. It's going to be amazing. Um, yeah. yeah. So this is what I do whenever we do the stickers. We print them in sheets that contain like 12 and then I have some extra space that I either use for the little circles or the little labels and then I manually cut them out with this cutter. Now 
we could potentially use our silhouette cutter that we've got. But we haven't quite gotten it to work exactly perfect. I've gotten it a lot better than it was when we first got it. So um, I at least know what I was doing wrong there. Um, we just have to actually get everything running right. And then I could just go, here you go, and have it cut it all out. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, what we have to do is cut them all out into strips and then edge each one to remove the little corners. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of annoying because the punches get stuck with the gummy labels. So it, mm -hmm. it's, And for yeah. the waterproof labels, it gets even worse because those are really tough labels. They really are. And the waterproof is the one we put on the scrubs. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's what we're going to do for another hour or so-ish. So it's Friday, and I finally got that thing done at work that I needed to get done. Marshall and I uh, went out after doing production for PR. We went out, got dinner, and uh, got some really cool thing we're going to show you in a minute. And then came home, watched the finale of Timeless and finished packaging up all the PR and now we're getting them shipped. So I wanted to show you some mail first, then we're gonna show you this really cool thing we got when we got out, and then after that we're gonna do Advent. Marshall's probably gonna die. Um, so the first thing I wanna show you is my Ulta order. Um, I ended up getting the hashtag, this is everything lip oil in like full size, and this is in the shade Thai 001. And then I told you earlier about how, on Sunday, about how um, I wanted these two palettes. So the first one is the ColourPop Sweet Nothings palette. And if you want swatches of this one, um, my friend Meg over at Pretty Sweet Face, I think actually her YouTube is Sullen Riot. Um, she did swatches on both this one and the Rendezvous palette, but I love the colors on here and how they're pink and purple and they're just me especially because of that like gold with the pink I've been doing that a lot lately in other palettes and yes it is kind of weird because I have these shades in other palettes but I like the formula for ColourPop that's why I wanted this one and then here is the Friendication palette from Dose of Colors which is the whole reason why I wanted to get uh, this this soon was because I got this at 50% off isn't it gorgeous my only problem with this palette is that the Blue shade right here came broken, so I had to push it back together, but I don't really care about that. The rest of these are really pretty, and I can't wait to play around with this a little bit more. Um, the other thing I got in the mail was a little present from my friend Autumn, and uh, basically I'm only going to show you part of what she gave me, and that is another little Starbucks cap, and it's from Ohio. Isn't that adorable? I super love this. So now I have to uh, figure out where I can get another one of these for Florida so I can send it to you, Autumn, because they've been selling out everywhere. But thank you so much because I don't have one from Ohio yet. So that is awesome. Now we're going to show you uh, what we got. Now let me explain it first before we show you. So if you guys don't know, there's this thing called Amazon Treasure Trek. And what it is, is it, you'll get a notification of what the special is for the day, and it's like deeply discounted. And then you tell it that you want it, and you say where you're going to pick it up. And in Orlando, it's only four or five places at different times. So the truck will make it like circling away through the city, and you have like an hour and a half to pick it up. And then you, you buy it on your phone, then you go up, you show them your phone, they scan it, and then they just give you the package. And it was really fun, and the guy had like... Uh, bubbles and things like it was just it was so fun like if it wasn't for the fact that it was in kind of a really busy part of town that we had to go to to get this and the traffic was crazy anyway it, it would have <laughs> it would have been like the best experience ever but traffic aside it was pretty magical so let me show you what we got okay so this is the rocket book which is what we got in there it comes with a pen and it's a, a special kind of erasable pen it's a friction yeah. Um, I have I primarily write with Frixians now anyway, but they're the erasable pens. And what these do, you see this little QR code, is you can take a picture of it using a special app, and it will scan the contents of the page 
into whatever you set it up to work with. So it can work with Google Drive, it can work with Dropbox, it can send you emails straight up. It can also do uh, automatic text recognition. So when you write stuff in, it will translate it directly into text. It's kind of cool like that. And then because it's an erasable pen, you can just wipe it clean. So even though there's like 26 pages in here, it will never die. It's the notebook you can use all year long. So that you can also take, um, it comes with a wipe, a cloth, but you can also take like a paper towel, just wet it a little bit and then wipe it off and then mm -hmm. it will it will come off. A, a guy I know at work has had one of these for about a year, which is the reason why I was actually interested in it. He'll take it to meetings and write it down, upload the stuff and bing, bing, boom. And it's kind of an interesting little hybrid of 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 services because if you look really closely there's a dot mate there's a dot grid here but the dot grid has large open squares so it's it's not a full dot grid in case you didn't need that i i like the idea of it and i want i want to play around with it some more i just got started in it so it's like fun it's really lightweight too day 21 for nerd felt tea is don't call me tiny Hibiscus, rose hips, peppermint, lemongrass, and orange. That does sound nice, doesn't it? Sounds refreshing. Mm. Today we get that disturbing piggyback cat thing. Is this like a black lip cream? Soft matte lip cream in Kiev. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna wear it if it's black. Okay. No. Ready? Who did Robert Baratheon ask to be his hand of the king? The... Ned Stark. Uh huh. Yeah, take it out of the side. Except. Where'd it go? Four more days of this. Snape? Snape. Seven. Hey, Snape. Why don't you tell them how you feel? or? I just if... feel really exhausted. Because I was up till like three last night doing the artwork for the set and then I got up really at around eight but my first alarm was at seven um, and I've pretty much been working since trying to get this production done and it's done now we do advent and I go pick up Corey then I'm gonna get some alcohol and pass out sounds like an amazing plan it's a good plan I'm probably going Maybe, I don't know. My eyes are too tired to read. Mm -hmm. I might just chill until you leave and then go get in bed. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm tired. I, I had more sleep than you did, but I've been tired all week long. It's been, a, it's been an exhausting week. Like, yes. It's been a week where there's been very little sleep to go around. There's been a lot of work to do. There's been a lot of things just keeping us from resting. Mm. Time for resting. Mm-hmm. Happy Saturday, everybody. I realized I have done no filming whatsoever. And it's like almost 2.30. Um, I actually woke up at 5.30 this morning. And I sent out some emails. And um, did a few things. And then I basically... I, got, I was really tired because it was about 5.30 and I couldn't go to sleep. So um, I was watching this special on Netflix about the Nutcracker and this ballet school in LA that does a performance every year and like from audition to performance it was I don't remember what it was called but anyway um then my husband went and dropped off all the PR and then got us lunch at Publix and then came back and we watched The Man Who Invented Christmas on Amazon 
I took a little nap because I was just really tired. And so, um, my husband goes to work at 5, but Marshall gets off at 5. So I'm thinking I'm going to go work on some bullet journaling while we watch a few movies in between time. So I just tried a new way to plan. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around so you can kind of see what preliminarily I've done. I usually post this on Instagram. But let me show you what I did. This is my January dashboard page. Um, I Because we don't have cable, we don't have everything all in one place. So I actually have to make lists of where all the stuff is that we're watching and what's coming out. Over on this side, you see books that I'm reading. I'm, I'm, doing, I'm reading get, Getting Shit Done, which, you know, that's the name of the book. Um... With the Paper and Glam book club this month. And then movies. I actually wrote down February's movies. Because apparently I was really excited for Lego Movie 2. Oopsie. And then um, I got some holidays. And then I have to fill in the auctions and events as I see them. So let's start into January. And before. Here let me show you like what it was. So like this would be a pre the previous layout. Which we haven't gotten to this week yet. But the Dutch door was like this. Okay. So I had... Um, things I needed to do socially here, and then um, I would make lists those days, and then have like mini schedule here. So I wanted to try something a little bit different this time, and I actually wasted some paper doing it, so I had to glue pages together. So that's why this doesn't lay fat. So I still have this side here because I really like it, but now I have this entire page, which is things that we're going to do every day. You know, here are the TV shows, movies, and little tasks that we're doing. This one is my list of tasks because before, it would look like this. So I would just make lists every day. And uh, I decided to go for more like this. So I'm gonna be able to do the tasks here and then here. And then I still haven't really decided what I'm doing on this page. So I thought I would use this to just you know, things to buy or whatever. So I'm still deciding how I'm going to work all this, but uh, I am trying this for the month of January. So this is January. The stickers, uh, the actual stickers here are from Oh Hello, but all the little ones um, and the headers are from Bottled Honey. And then this is the Doctor Who Bottled Honey, which I just got again from her, which I love using all the time. Uh, most of these stickers are from Bottled Honey, so... There's my, that one. And then this one is the uh, Twilight Zone one from Bottled Honey. And this is the, it's like a Disney World one from Bottled Honey. And it used to be that I would, which you'll see over here, I would make lists, um, so it would say tasks. So it would have like an entire list of tasks. So now that I'm using, you know, this little part of task, I think it will be a lot more cohesive and together. So that is what I'm doing. And now what I have to do is that insert right there um, pretty much is old and it's starting to get full up. So with the new year coming, I need to make a new insert um, with new headers and things. Um, so basically in this one... I'm cutting stuff out. So this part here, which is like my monthly calendar. And then I'm not doing this anymore. I did the moon phases before and I did it for about a year and I'm, I'm okay not doing it again. Then I've got like this, I have Hulu binge, but I have consolidated it with another page. So I have the movies that are coming up. I've got things on TV. I've got Netflix, Hulu and Amazon. I've got my list of stickers. You're in pictures. I was going to put in here, but I didn't keep up with it. Um, so I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I did a lot of like planning and then not really following through. So I need to refocus on what I was doing in the new notebook and really just start over. So that is what I'm doing. Of course, I am in my little Oh Hello A5 um, I do have another insert in here. This is where I track like all makeup and stuff. This one is also probably needs to be redone, but I got this from Boho Berry and she doesn't make them anymore for you. So you can only print them. And so it's kind of sad because like, for example, here's that bookshelf. I did it before 
And I have like, I have like, you know, Tombow stuff that like will take me a very long time to move over things I, you know, keep track of or whatever, like holiday movies. So I just, I'm not in any mood to actually redo that one. I just will redo the other one. So yep, that is my little planner. It's Saturday night and you can barely see me. Um, because I'm in bed waiting for my husband to get off. He doesn't get off for like another hour and a half, but um, it's he doesn't get off till 10, so he's very late. I uh, watched an episode of Travelers with Marshall, but we were both kind of tired. Let me move it here. There you can see me better. Um, we were both kind of tired, so we decided to um, kind of do our separate thing. He's playing Zelda out in the living room, and I am took a bath and I started watching 12 Monkeys on Hulu because one of the guys I know at work likes the show and was like, you probably would like it. And it is similar to the movie, kind of, but not really. Um, but I'm on the second episode now, so I'm just kind of winding down. I don't want to go to bed too early because I've been doing that the past couple nights and it makes me wake up at like 6 o'clock in the morning and I just don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do it. So, um, yeah. I am probably just going to watch TV and go to bed. No Advent tonight. We're going to do two tomorrow because we're both too tired to really do that right now. So, 